You were able to jump off the Roseanne ship right before it went down. You got off. Oh, yeah. you, you got off when you realized. Wait a minute, this is going in a different uh-huh. direction than I had thought. But you were you were a, a producer and executive producer on the show. Um, a consulting, consulting, a consulting producer, producer and a writer. Mm-hmm. So obviously you were involved, and obviously you knew Roseanne. Mm-hmm. Were you surprised by her tweets? Is she a different person outside of Twitter? Because like you know, for I've known what she's been doing on Twitter, and that tweet. I didn't think it was any good, but it didn't shock me that that came from Roseanne on Twitter. But I also don't know her outside of Twitter. Outside of Twitter, uh, we got along great. She, yeah, she. I don't know who this Twitter person is, mm-hmm. really. But the Roseanne that I know personally and how she presented herself, it, it, it was not this person who's like, you know, get caught up in conspiracy theories and all this. Um like when we did last comic standing, we reached out to her to be a judge and we had dinner with her and she was really cool and was saying all the right things. Hey, I want to, you know, open this up to to make it more diverse. Let's get in you know, more women and people of color and uh, genders. And I'm like, OK, cool. Great, great. Um, So that's that's. The Roseanne that I worked with, and even on Rose, even during the, on the show Roseanne, her sitcom, when we brought it back, uh, she wanted to talk about stuff like how she did in her her the, the original version of the show. So it was all good, but but the the Twitter has always been nutsville. Yeah, I mean, during Last Comic Standing, I was worried. I was like, we gotta get her off Twitter. She's gonna she's gonna kill us. Did you ever say anything to her like Roseanne? We. Yeah. You did? We, yeah. We said something. Well, actually, we talked to her daughter. And when I say we, I mean Paige Herwood's my uh, producing partner. Mm-hmm. Um, we talked to her daughter. And, and then one time she said, yeah, I, th- I think it's her boyfriend that's running the account or whatever. And then uh, I don't know, like one one uh, day when we were show we were about to start. And, and Roseanne was like, I'm tired. I've, I've been up fighting anti-Semitism all, all night. And we just kind of like looked, at, looked at each other like, oh, okay. Uh, I hope you won, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here, here's the lineup tonight, you know. Yeah. So, um when, when she yeah. said that tweet, I, I, she said she didn't realize the woman was black. Do you believe her or do you think that was damage control or do you think that she really was just just saying something Come like on. No, I don't know. I, mean, I, I, I don't, I didn't know I don't believe was. that. I think that was damage control. Okay. And, yeah, and I mean, she, and she, she said I didn't know the bitch was black. <laughs> so I'm like, I thought okay, she said I thought right, the bitch that, was white. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bitch, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so you would have, when that when you saw that tweet, did you leave or did someone call you and tell you about it, or did you look at it and go, "I have to, I can't be here"? Uh, someone sent me the 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 tweet. Um, actually, a couple friends, a couple friends, they text me and I looked at it and then because I was actually sending an email to Bruce Helfer, the showrunner, to let him know that I wasn't. Um, I was going to miss the first two weeks of of the writer's room because I booked a gig um, on the other two, this Comedy Central show that just started up. So, uh, and so I pick up my phone do, to do that and I see all these text messages. And I was like, what the hell? And then when I saw the tweet, I was like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Did you know they were going to cancel her? Like, you've been in the business a lot. Like, did well, you think she'll survive this or she won't? That show made so much money, man. It was, you know... It was, it was a really was successful a, season. It was successful. It yeah. was like the highest numbers, you know, they had in a while for a sitcom. And and I I was like, well, I, I can't be a part of it. I'll, I'll let them figure it out, but I'm I'm not going to go back. I didn't think they should have fired her. Like, if you didn't want to work with her, that's, you know, again, that's certainly your choice. I didn't think they should have fired her, though, because like, she came right out and apologized. Mm-hmm. She said, hey, look, I'm sorry. And it seems like a lot of times now when they have time, they rethink it. Like, James Gunn, they... I mean, they were old tweets, but then they brought him back after a little while. Things cool off. Do you think they reacted kind of quickly when they got rid of her? No. No. No, I don't think so. Um, and I, I say that b- because of the, just because of, of the, if, if, if things were different in the country right now, if we weren't so divided, then maybe she could have pulled that out with, with uh, some, you know, uh, a sit down big uh, teaching moment but there's no we don't have any more no we don't have have those anymore want more Jim and Sam catch up with full episodes and interviews from celebrity guests anytime on demand using the SiriusXM app